Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Let Code. In this video, we are going to write our first feature file using Cucumber. So before going to that, let us understand few of the syntax, the Kirkin syntax. So all the feature files starts with the keyword called future. Future is nothing but uh, you can mention the name of the future which is to be tested. That means like consider a login scenario, right? So when I enter the username, when I enter the password and click on the login, then login should be success, right? So that is one of our scenario. Now, there can be one or more scenarios within a feature file. So feature is basically like what is all your scenarios is about. For example, I may have like login positive, login negative, then add a product to the cart and check out, right? So all those are belongs to a particular feature. So feature is nothing but consider that to be your user story, whereas scenario is like your um, task. Okay, so that's it very simple and apart from that mostly we are going to use this five keywords so understand the meaning thoroughly so given when and then but what is given given is basically like your precondition when is like it is used to define an action like for example um, consider again the login scenario so I enter the username, I enter the password, right? So that are my precondition. So I can use the given. When is like when I click on the login button. So when I click on the login button, I'm expecting some outcome, right? So it can be positive or a negative scenario. If it's positive, then we'll go with the keyword called then. If it's negative, we'll use the keyword called but, okay? So with the help of this five keywords, we are going to write a lot of scenarios. And of course, a scenario should be written within the scenario keyword and there can be one or more scenario which we are going to write within the future. Apart from this, also we have keywords like scenario outlines with examples and background. We'll talk about that in detail in our upcoming videos. Now, in general note, uh, we can write the feature files in two ways. First person view, uh, that is like when we write our feature file, we will say like, I enter the username, I enter the password or else like third person perspective as well. For example, user enter the username, user enters the password. Both are technically fine. There is no much difference uh, as much as the scenario is clear and it is understandable by the entire team. That's fine. And before going to the, uh, before writing a feature file, we have to do one installation. Okay. So go to help, click on this Eclipse marketplace. So in our previous video, we have added all the dependencies. So now we are going to install the plugin. Okay. So dependency in the sense like your Java core files. So those are already bundled in a jar file and we are going to use that with the help of Maven. Whereas plugin is like your software that is required for your Eclipse to perform certain action. Okay. So within the search, I'm going to type like cucumber and we can see like we got two options. One is the Eclipse plugin, another one is the natural. You can install any one. I will go with this Cucumber Eclipse plugin. So let's go and click on the install. It might take a bit time, like 10 to 15 minutes, depends on your system and the network, but wait until the installation is complete. Here you will get some checkbox, like uh, one is like, the cucumber plugin and uh, there will be some radio button i believe i already have the uh, plugin so that's why it's not asking me for the license but in your case you should select like i accept the term and condition and then you click on the finish and if you click on this uh, install software right if you double click on this you will be able to see the progress and after a while like it will take 10 to 15 minutes already i have the plugin so it was really quick for me but in your case, it will be uh, 10 to 15 minutes. Okay. Then you'll see this particular prompt. Click on this install anyway. That is absolutely fine. And here you can select the installation is completed and you click on this restart now. Okay. So that's it. Very simple step. Uh, once that is done, we can write our feature file. Let's see how to do that. Cucumber is actually really easy. Um, just a simple plain English we have to write only the configuration part is there that is also very easy actually um, like you will be having like roughly 
five to eight options that's it okay similar to your test ng where we don't write we just use the annotations something here as well okay not exactly but something related to that okay now we are going to write all our feature files the step definitions and the runner file within the src test java okay so usually we write our testing code within the test folder only so we'll do the same for our cucumber as well so here i'm going to create a new uh, folder okay don't use the package package is for your java codes but here we are going to write the feature file so click on this folder and here i'm going to name it like features or also you can name it as stories uh, whatever is fine okay within the folder i'm going to create a new file usually we write our class file because that is java like file name dot java here it is going to be your dot feature file okay so here let's say like uh, it's going to be my login dot f-e-a-t-u-r-e okay login dot feature okay here we have to give the dot feature that is the extension of the file okay once i click on that you can see like some code is already generated and here you can see like that cucumber icon right if you are not able to see this that means your cucumber plugin is not installed so do the installation okay so i'm going to delete all this and we are going to write it from the very scratch now to give you all the demo uh, related to the uh, cucumber i'm going to use this particular website where we can have like multiple scenarios test case scenarios okay so let's go and write our first feature file okay so as i said all earlier we should write our scenarios within the feature keyword okay so uh, let's name it like um, what is this this book cart right so book cart application test okay so this is going to be my um yeah this is going to be my feature okay within the feature we have to write our scenarios now you can see like we are not getting color suggestions that's because of the indentation okay now here i'm going to write my first scenario and the scenario should also comes with a name okay so this is my feature keyword and this is like book cart application test you can write a good name i'm just giving for the uh, demo and here we are going to write the scenario okay so what is the scenario let's say like i want to verify the login okay um like i can say like login should be success okay so this is my scenario name now here i'm going to write my first step and always remember your first step should be starts with the given keyword okay basically this is my precondition so always starts with the given keyword so here i'm going to say like user should go to this particular application right so i'll say like as i said earlier we can write like i go to this application or users goes to their application anything is fine okay so given uh, user navigate to the book cart application okay and i'm going to say again like given user clicks on the so here you can select we have like login button so here i will say like login button then user is going to enter the username and user going to enter the password right so here i'll say like again given user enter the user name as the original test data okay and again i'm going to say like given user enter the password as uh, pass one two three four i guess and here i'm going to do the login okay so i have to click on the login button how will we say that in the sense like here we are performing performing an action which is relevant to this test right so i will say like when user clicks or click on the login button then you login should be success okay so i will say like login should be success 
okay so what does it mean in the sense like when we see the keyword called then then we can understand like it's a positive scenario okay so when i enter the username password and click on i click on the login button then login should be success if i give the username as wrong right so i can write multiple scenarios right so i can go and copy paste and i can create only another scenario okay here i'll say say like login should not be success okay so here consider like my password is going to be wrong and uh, let's make it like one two one yeah so here login should not be success okay should not be success or we can also say like login should fail login should fail okay so here i should not say like then it is basically my negative scenario i will do like but okay now uh, let me do this quick format so right click and here pretty format that will format your feature file okay this is fine now when we try to read this file you can see some awkward things are there right so like given 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 user navigate to the book cart application given user clicks on the login button given user right that doesn't really make sense so what we'll do instead of writing given in multiple multiple places we'll just change that to and okay now the scenario is very same but if you read it it will make much sense for example given user navigates to the book cart application and user clicks on the login button and user enter the username as something and user enter the password as something when okay now you might ask me here also we can go with the and itself right that will also make sense why we have to use the when so as i said like when we consider a scenario there will be like what actually we are doing and when the actual test starts and what will be the outcome so here my outcome is positive so i will write like then login should be success if it's negative i will write like but login should fail okay now coming back to this when this is where actual test starts we can give any data those are going to be my precondition but my actual test will start when i click on the login button so that is the reason we are using this when now here multiple in multiple blogs in multiple videos you will find multiple explanation like uh, the most we what we or what i have done personally is basically like within the one scenario we will write only once the given only once the when and the then okay so for example let's say that you are going to test the api scenarios like api testing okay when we do that like when i send a request then i expect the status code to be 201 and i expect the message should be like successful uh, or created something like that right so basically i have to verify two things here one is the status code that is 201 and another one is the success message okay but i i cannot say like when user sends the or when i send the uh, request then then i should not use two then i should use only one then and i should uh do the other assertion with the and keyword okay so that is how and and basically is a conditional statement where we can put in for any of the other keywords like given when and then okay so that's it very simple thing um if i copy this feature and paste it here and if i try to add one more scenario i think okay it's not giving us any compile time issue but generally uh, we should write only one feature within a feature file and we can have n number of scenarios within a feature file apart from scenarios also we have like something like scenarios outline we'll talk about that in our upcoming videos okay so that's it for this video now you might ask me hey you just written some text here how it's going to run okay it will not run cucumber is just like basically it's set a standard like how the user should do the testing or how the developer should write the uh should do the implementation of the uh, front end ui or the uh, back end or the like all the api stuff okay but the actual test will start when we map this to a step definition so this is just about writing the feature file and the good practices we'll talk about the step definitions in our next video That's it from my side. Thanks for watching. If you have any queries, feel free to ask me in the comments. Tada! Bye bye. Take care.